Welcome back to Cato Living. We have Abby now from Bombgars in Mankato to talk all things chicken. <laughs> because Abby, you raise your own backyard chickens, right? I do. I have chickens at home. I help people raise chickens, pick out chickens. What does that look like or how do you get started in doing something like that? So the first thing you're going to want to think about is what kind of space you have and then think about what size chickens you can get. So you're going to see medium, large, small chickens. Um, and then you're going to start. You get a coop. Get everything you need, go look at chickens in the store, pick some out, take them home, and then you go from there. Okay, mm -hmm. with your experience, like how big is like your space that you have, your backyard chickens? Sure, so I have a about a 16 by 10 coop, and then I've got a run attached to the outside of that, and then they get to go outside and kind of free range, eat bugs, eat grass, run around, be chickens as well. Huh. So I know that with um, some people, uh, they they tend to get you know like goats for example to to keep the grass at a manageable length. Can you do the same with chickens? So chickens will pick kind of at weeds and they'll help keep the bugs down, but mm. they're not going to keep your grass down necessarily mm. the same way goats do. Mm. And so what types of um, chickens you know should one look at? I hope not as big <laughs> as this like one. This? For example, no, this size <laughs> might be a little big to fit in your backyard. <laughs> I really like the kind of easy chickens. There's a breed of chicken that we carry that I work with a lot called mm -hmm. ISA Brown. Mm -hmm. uh, and those will lay like 320 eggs a year. Wow. So, so I guess egg production, If I guess that's a good question too. It's like, you know, egg production versus like meat production if you want to go down <laughs> that route. Like... Yeah, so those layer chickens are not really great for eating. Mm -hmm. You can eat them. A lot mm -hmm. of people eat them towards the end of their lifespan. But if you're looking at getting chickens for at home, you're going to think about temperament. Are they friendly? Are they going to be good to you? And then that's kind of what you're going to go for. You're going to want nice chickens. So how <laughs> friendly can a friendly chicken get? Yeah, They can actually be really good. Uh, a lot can of they people, be cuddly? Yes, you can hold them. My okay. chickens, some of them don't really like to be held. So okay. I let, they're kind of like cats that way. I they, heard that like chickens are really dumb like they have no brain <laughs> is so, that like true <laughs> they do dumb things but a lot of people don't know is that chickens can recognize up to a hundred unique faces of other chickens and people oh. so they definitely like so my chickens might not go to you but they'd come to me because they're like oh that's a stranger stranger danger so they are like cats they are <laughs> like that cats. Way. they are like cats they either like you or they don't huh. and so how do you you know like I, I guess what would be you know somebody who just like wants one chicken, say the least. Mm -hmm. Like, um, what what would the what types of things would you have to get for like just like one or two chickens? So chickens are social, so you'd probably want at least three or four mm. individuals. You'd want to get them some food. We can get food at the store. It's pretty easy to pick out. Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of different high quality foods you can get from like starter and grower for your chicks, and then layer feed for the adult birds. Mm -hmm. uh, you'd need some water dishes, and then the most important is going to be their enclosure. Mm. I think you're going to want about four square feet of space per bird on the inside of the coop mm -hmm. and around 10 square feet of enclosed space outside. Mm -hmm. More if it's Minnesota, in my opinion, yeah. because they yeah. get they get a little stir crazy in the winter. Yeah, and then so what, yeah, what do you do with them in the winter? winter. So what I do, I have some heating panels so mm -hmm. that I don't worry about uh, fires from lamps. Lamps are definitely one of the most popular options, but I have heating panels. I try to keep my coop above freezing for their comfort and mm -hmm. so my eggs don't freeze. And uh, I pour it up the run, and then when it's nice out, I'll let them into the yard. Oh, cool. And you said that these eggs that you brought today are from your own chickens too, yes, right? Yes, these are from my personal chickens at home. These darker eggs are from Moran's. This is from like an olive egg or chicken. And these eggs, it's kind of hard to tell, but they're kind of bluish in color. Mm -hmm. And you can get blue laying chickens as well, besides, you know, those brown eggs, like the kind you get at the store. Pretty colors, spring colors, dare yes, I say. Yes, yeah. spring colors. You can get Easter eggs without dyeing them. <laughs> yeah, there That's you go true. with your backyard chickens. That's true. Well, thanks for coming in, Abby. Again, this was from Baumgarzi Mankato. Check it out if you'd like. And we'll be back with more after Kato Living.